Hey guys, Gavin Game here, and it's time for Scarfine News. Alright guys, so we don't have much to cover today, but if you play Gold Paladins, you guys, you are going to be in for a treat today. We got a few cards that have been announced, so let's get right into it, and let's check those cards out. So, the first thing that's being announced here is a card for... Numatama, it's a promo card that's released in Stride Generations Volume 4. It's called Demonic Stealth Beast of Tyranny. Mouse is a grade 4 G Guardian. Of course, a Numatama unit. It's a 50k shield, auto skill, guardian circle, guard circle, excuse me. When placed, if the number of cards in your hand is 2 or less, this unit gets plus 15k shield until the end of the battle. Alright guys, so it's gonna skip all of this. Alright, so this is a quick look back of the episode of Ren and Naiji's fight in episode 22 for serious fight. And boy, it was an intense fight. It really was. But what I'm really excited about is the fight between Ren and Naiji that's about to happen. So, oh my god, you guys, I'm really excited to check that out. Gotta wait, gotta wait. <laughs> Finally get to see, so going on. They give us a quick look at what looks to be Aichi in Escapolate the Blaster kinda mix. So it looks like he's gonna be riding Escapolate the Blaster, which is interesting because that is gonna be our first grade four unit that's being announced. So we'll see if there's any new rulings or anything to it. So I'm super excited. Alright. Well, excuse that. Going on, so. Alright. The next thing they announced here are sleeves for the Answer of Truth. So, this one's for Gear Chronicles, Angel Feathers, and Great Nature. So, if you guys are playing on those clans, I don't know where they'll be releasing this. You might be able to find it in a Bushi Road support store or maybe online. I'm not really too sure, but. To be honest, these are really nice sleeves, and hopefully you guys can get your hands on these if you want them. So that's really cool. All right. Now to get to the meat and bones of this article. So unfortunately, they don't have the text for this one. So we're gonna go into this card, which is Knight of Elegant Skill Gareth. He's a Grade One Normal Unit for Gold Paladins, obviously. So he's part AK base with a 10 gauge shield. He has an auto regard effect when placed by your card's ability. Cost can blast one, and this unit gets plus 10k until the end of the turn. So, for you guys who don't know, the original Gareth was a 1k effect, so uh, basically it was an act effect, so you would boost it up by counter blasting, giving it 1k each. But this one's an on place for 10k for an XL clan. This is going to be a heavy card. And very very strong for Excel clan because 10k for either a booster or putting him on a rear guard circle which would bump him up to 28k is a heavy attacker for you guys it's really good support all right so this is a very good card which is nice to see a 10k for a grade one all right so going on here we have Knight of Superior Skill Bu means so f again if you guys all know Bu means was a originally a vanilla so it didn't have effect but it's different so this one's gonna be at excuse me a power of 9k and a shield at 5k so he has an effect auto vanguard rearguard circle one place from hand Cost this card card for your hand. Search your deck for up to one Knight of Elegant Skill Gareth. Call it to Rear Guard Circle and shuffle your deck. And it's going to be very important for the next card that we're going to talk about, which you guys can see here. And yeah, it's it's just a good combo up. So next we have here is an auto Rear Guard effect. When placed by your card's ability, this unit gets plus 3k till the end of the turn. So you'll be bumping it up to just protect and excel numbers so that's still pretty decent all right so what i was mentioning with before for bu means was this is the incandescent line blonde ezel so many of you guys should know this if you guys 
watch the last uh, the original series the first series I should say from uh, Vanguard so for this one it is grade 3 normal unit with the Excel circle gift and obviously for gold paladin is power of 12k base has an act ability from hand if you have a knight of superior skill beamings and a knight of elegant skill gareth or your vanguard circle or rearguard circle costs soul blast one crimson lion cub gareth fry this card is dead if your opponent's vanguard is grade two or less this unit gets minus one giant until the end of the turn so what is good about this it pushes you to put an excel circle early on within the game so that's really nice you guys going with this it's it's super strong because you're setting up your field right away you have a gareth that is already hitting for 28 you have bu mains with a skill calling another gareth so and you guys this is just this is going to be really buff i can see cold paladins being a top tier deck to be honest this is really really good all right so this is really i i i'm not I'm lost in words with this. This is a really good combo, surprisingly. So, yeah. <laughs> All right. So, seeing on you guys, we have the. That's pretty much the end of the article, but we have a card that's been announced here as well. So this was the Angel Feather card. This is called the uh, Essence Celestial Becca. So this is a Grade Two normal unit for Angel Feathers. It's a 9k power base with 5k shield, an auto rearguard effect when placed if you have a grade 3 or greater vanguard, one of your vanguards and this unit gets power plus 3k in the center turn. So that's still a nice buff. You don't have to play like sacrifice anything for its effect, so you're still giving the extra numbers. With the extra 3k you're hitting the tech numbers and excel numbers, so that's obviously uh, Pretty good to have on a rearguard circle and it looks like they announced another card as well so we go ahead and check that out so for this one it looks like it's called perdurable phoenix this unit seems to be for ancient feathers as well it's grade 3 and as part of 12k base it is not a magic gift unit so that's gonna be interesting it has an auto rearguard effect when its vanguard is attacked cost retire this unit call one card from your damage zone to Guardian Circle and put the top card of your deck into your damage zone face down. So this is basically what Angel Feathers do. They <laughs> they filter out the damage zone every so this is this is gonna be pretty interesting to have if you're gonna run this. But we haven't seen too much of Angel Feather or how they're gonna run, so yeah. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Alright, so that is it for my video today. I know it was short, but we got some good news coming in with Wanda and and everything. So, hope you guys still enjoyed this. I know it was pretty short. It's nice to have some extra cards to call, uh, talk about in the end as well. But still, thank you guys for watching. If you're new here, feel free to subscribe. I make videos every week. So, also to you guys returning viewers, thank you guys for supporting the channel. I really appreciate you guys. And... Thank you so much, and as always, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Laters!